Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick FYI of the colors that I use for both digital and traditional watercolor paintings. Now since I came out of a traditional painting background, I've only used specific colors for quite some time and kept my palette pretty much the same. Now unfortunately, I dropped Burnt Umber a few years back only because I was reading some watercolor artists didn't use it and that it created mud too easily, too quickly. Well, the problem was they don't paint what I paint and they also don't have the same style I have. So I was dropping a color in fear of creating mud when I really didn't have to. This was a color that I was familiar with and I used it for a specific color combination to give me my silvery grays when mixed with French ultramarine blue. In this first palette, these are all the colors I was using up until this point. And what I did was I wanted to drop the permanent magenta right here, number nine. This is a color I very seldom used. It was too close to some of my other reds and deeper reds like Alizarin Crimson, Permanent Rose, Brown Matter, and then even Burnt Sienna and Windsor Red over here. I had way too many reds. I wanted my Burnt Umber back. Okay, in the next slide, I will turn this one off, turn this one on. Now, here is my burnt umber up here. I was going to try and keep it with my uh, quinacridone gold raw umber uh, going towards the uh, cooler side. But what I did was took out the permanent magenta, but then realized cobalt turquoise light was also a color I did not use very often. Working with the digital colors, I found that my dioxazine purple right here is really a color I liked using. It works really well with oranges and other browns that mixes very nice to get grays or other values that I may need. So what I decided to do was take out the cobalt turquoise and then completely reshuffle my colors that worked better on the way I mixed them. Now I'll turn this one off, turn this one on. And here is my final setup. Now what I also did was just arrange them in a better, more useful way with the burnt umber up here, then raw umber, quinacridone gold, aureolin, Windsor lemon, Windsor orange, Windsor red, then going towards the cool side, now I have permanent rose, burnt sienna, brown matter, Cobalt Violet, Alizarin Crimson. The new one is Windsor Violet, that's Dioxazine Purple. Then French Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Cerulean Blue, Prussian Blue, and then Windsor Green Blue Shade. Now some of these have a specific tint to them. The Windsor Green is Blue Shade, and the Cerulean Blue is also Green Shade, where there is a cerulean blue red shade. In traditional, that's important because if you try to mix cerulean blue red shade with a yellow, you may get a very muddy green that just doesn't work or it just doesn't have the snap you may be looking for. Now keep in mind, these are all Winsor Newton colors, so different brands, different variations may differ quite a bit. You have to go by the pigment color on the back of the tube. Okay, let's move on to the digital colors now. I will turn this one off and turn this one on. And this particular setup was in previous demos, but I just wanted to make sure for those who didn't see those demos that this is here, how I came across all of my digital colors. I tried to get them as accurate as I possibly could towards the traditional colors that I use. Now these particular colors here are based on the same colors I have digitally, but I have a few more colors digitally since they don't cost anything extra. Now this is uh, the real in right here, and you can see it's X dot because I decided not to use it, but I'm going to include it in the color palette that I post to the Escape Motions free assets page, only because I'll just post all colors used and not just necessarily the ones I use for traditional. The colors over here are as follows. This is black right here. I only use that for 
masks. I don't use it in traditional at all either. No type of blacks at all. I mix all my grays and dark grays. Now this color here is the UI exact color match. In case you were wondering how I was changing these, if I turn this one off, everything disappears. But that's only because if I turn this layer off, that is the actual paper that I'm using to mount all of these photos on. So if you need the exact color that matches the UI for Rebel background, it's there also. If I turn this on, it completely disappears. And then I only see what photos I want to see, which is probably better than a white or solid black background. The next one is just my pencil color. It's 65% gray. Then I have unbleached titanium. Then the regular straight titanium. This is Windsor Red, Windsor Orange, Windsor Lemon, Aurelin. You can see those two are fairly close together, but digitally it doesn't matter. You could use one or the other. Quinacridone Gold, Raw Umber, Burnt Umber, and these are fairly close digitally, but traditionally, again, big difference. This is Sepia which is pretty much burnt umber mixed with a little bit of black. This is burnt sienna, potter's pink, permanent rose, cobalt violet, permanent magenta, dioxazine purple, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, French ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, cobalt turquoise light and cobalt turquoise dark. Now traditionally those are very close together usually get the darker color then you could just thin it out or water it down uh, with water traditionally but between those two uh, they would be a few dollars for buying two of those colors traditionally terra vert which is also a color i don't use traditionally but it is a nice color digitally sap green and the windsor green and this is one of the same ones that i picked right here but i made the arrangement how i wanted them to be digitally speaking this is a specific order I put them in. Turn that one off. Turn this one off. There's my picture. These colors I will post on the free assets page. I had a few requests if I was going to post them. More than welcome to do anything you want with them. Those are the digital and traditional colors I use. I've always been told in the past by artists I've worked with that I learned a lot from that, again, your palette is your signature and you are the only one that uses your color combinations that you have until we see you out in the field or back at the studio thanks for watching